Hello and welcome back to Simple or Difficult. This is Onoche Chokode, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create slanted wall or inclined walls in Revit. Okay, as you can see here, what I've done is I drew these lines. This is a straight line, these are two squares. Okay, these are detailed lines, they're going to be helping us, they, they will serve as a guideline for us to be able to do what it is we are about to do. Okay. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, okay, I'm using the default Revit template. Okay, I've added levels here. You can see the distances between the levels. We are having 3,150 apart. Okay. Now we have the NGL and we also have the ground floor. You can see this is the natural ground level, and then we have the ground floor 450 above it. All right. So moving on. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the architecture tab. The components to click on the drop down you see model in place okay click on it now i want you to go over and select mass okay this is mass over here click ok all right now this information comes out all right so for us not to see this thing again okay on any other floor plans that we are in okay so we have to come over here okay, let me close this thing we have to come over here, machine and sites. Okay, drop this thing down. You see, show mass form of form and floors. All right. So when we click that, go over here, and then let's try and do the massing stuff. All right. Okay. Now you see, we have the mass one. So let's make it the first. I'm going to rename this one first mass okay all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line here okay a model line i'm going to draw it you know following the line i drew at first as you can see okay the reference is natural ground level as you can see that's the plan where i am so i'm going to go over i'm going to copy the I'm going to copy the line then i'm going to go over to the third floor and i'm going to paste it you know you see align to the current view okay so i'm going to select the line and i'm going to move it forward by 9500 that is 9.9 .9 meters okay so now i'm going to go over to the 3d view so i can see the two lines i created this is the one on the natural ground level and this is the one on the third floor Okay, so select both of them like so, and then create form. Now it will ask you the type of form you want to create. This is the one we want. So you click it. And see now we have our inclined you know, mass. All right, so what we are going to do is, we are going to click, yeah, finish. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is to create a cutting wall with this inclined surface that we have just created okay so how do we do that when you come over to the architecture tab on the on the build panel you will see cutting system all right select it and then select the surface okay create system all right now we have created a cutting wall system on the inclined surface that we've just created okay now I want us to just make a little bit of adjustment to this, okay? So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to go into the edit mode. Now first of all, you duplicate, and then let, let's rename it 1.5 by 1.5 because I want to change it to that. So this fish this I'm going to change it to maximum spacing. If you want to know more about how you can edit your cutting walls, there's a video we have done with respect to that i'm going to attach the link below i'm going to leave this one as one five so you can do where to check it out okay all right so we have it now one five by one five all right so let's go over to the plan so that i can okay let me change this into finish face of the table
okay so see what we have created so let's select all these walls here and change the top constraint to the okay now we have it so i want this wall to meet this cutting wall that we just created over here all right so i'm going to double click it to edit it i'm going to select this one then drag it remove constraint then use the trim tool trim extend to corner tool and then hit ok now as you can see we have our inclined wall That's an inclined wall. Alright, now let's go over and do the second one. We are going to be using this thing as a guide now. This square we have here, this is a 10 meter by 10 meter square. Okay, so the same thing we did before, we are going to go over to the components tool. Then we're going to drop it down and select model in place and also go over and select mass okay now we're going to name this one second mass all right all right so the same thing we did before but we're going to use the rectangle okay draw to to do this one now so the replacement plane is on the ground, um, natural ground floor, which is what it's supposed to be because that's the floor plan that we're in. You can always change this thing from here to whatever plane you want, okay? But I want this one to be on the natural ground floor. So let's go ahead and draw a line, okay? All right. So we can select it. This is the line that we just drew now, and then we'll copy it, okay? We can paste it from here, align to selected level. You can paste it to the third floor and then hit OK. Now let's head over to the third floor. All right. So we're going to select this one, this line here. So you're going to click it, okay, like two times. You selected it. All right. Now I'm going to change this thing to 19,900. All right. So I'm going to add my nine here. I'm going to add another nine here. All right. So that is it. So now let's head over to the 3D view so we can see the two lines we created. So I'm going to select both of them. If you select the first one, hold down control, the, the control button if you're using Windows or the command button if you're using a Mac. So hold it down and select both of them and then click on the create form. All right. So now we have created a form just like what we did before. Okay. So we're now going to finish the mask. All right. So um, I just wanted to show you that, you know, you can create just this, this inclined wall that we are creating for cutting walls. You can also always create, you know, the, you can also create other type of walls with it, not just, you know, the cutting walls. All right. So when we come over here to the architecture tab, you will see wall by face. Okay. You can simply select your walls. You will see wall by face. Okay. So I'm going to use it use this one over here okay so you make sure that you are selecting the wall you want to use right now is in generally 200 millimeter you can select the 225 which is one i always like to use okay and then you just click on the surfaces of the mask we just created and you can see the, the walls are just beginning to come up all right so i want this front part to be cutting walls so what do we do on the architecture tab on the build panel see the cutting system click on it once more okay make sure you're selecting the cutting wall we just created which is one five by one five millimeter okay so change it in the type selector all right now you select the surface you want and then you create the cutting system now you have it okay this is an inclined wall okay so this thought this thought uh, this thought mass we're going to create i want to show you how we can you know modify it and make some certain changes to it you know what if we want to have walls and cutting walls on the same face how do we do that what do we do how do we go about doing that okay now so like we did before on the components select the model in place 
and then mass you can just simply click on anywhere and then type m on your keyboard it takes you to you know the m section you know of the family category so you select the mass and then hit ok and then this is our third mass okay then hit ok just like before you select the zone model and the placement plane is a natural ground level okay you use the rectangle draw tool and then just like we did before okay select it and copy it all right you can either go over to the third floor and paste it to the current view or you can paste it you know align to selected levels okay but since we are still going to go to that third floor let's just go there and then paste to current view all right so we're going to select the first line in front okay like we did before and then we're going to make it 19 9 okay 19 yeah i think that's it all right so go over to the 3d view select both of them hold control select the other one and then create form okay now we have it all right so let's just finish the mask so like we did before we're going to or well, let's use the other way of doing it you know making sure you, the wall you want is selected you can now click, click on the surface you know i'm 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 orbiting i when you want to orbit you, you hold shift down hold the shift button down and then with your your scroll wheel hold your scroll wheel down too and then just move the mouse on your surface that will orbit your drawing okay or you can just use this one and orbit and then you get when you get to the to the view you want you cancel it and then you can do what it is you want to do but i feel like holding down the shift button and orbiting it so this front usually we apply the cutting materials here but for now let's apply our wall our basic wall the 225 basic wall generic wall there so we have it now so now we want to incorporate both the cutting wall and our basic generic wall you know in front of this place okay so how do we do that so the first thing we need to do is select the mask and edit it okay in case you cannot select it the way i selected it you can select everything like so okay you click and drag select everything like so and then come over to the filter and then on check everything and leave only mask okay and then you say okay that will select the mask for you so now edit in place all right now what we want to do is edit the mask so we can now update this wall to the new surface i'll show you what i mean by that just follow me now the 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 next thing we are going to do is we are going to set our work plane okay so you click on set and then select the work plane that you want i want to edit that face so i've selected it okay now the next thing we're going to do is to select our line because we want to make some changes now make sure that you are not on draw on face set it to draw on work plane okay so that it will it will work with the work plane that we just set all right okay so so now let's go ahead and select the middle now how you know that you are going on a straight line is you see this line that are you know extending the dashed line that is extending you know before and after the line that we're just drawing that actually tells you that you're drawing a straight line so you take it down and then you hit you know the bottom of the line okay now i want now let's select the pick two the pick line two okay so that we can offset the line two fives on the on both sides okay that will give us five meters in total okay so make sure you're selecting the line hit tab so you are selecting the line like so and then you click and click again now we have the two lines on both sides so you select this one and then you delete it okay so we're going to select another line then join the two lines okay hold down shift or bit okay all right now we have created a rectangle so you select it and then instead of clicking this to create a form you click on the drop down and you create a void form all right as you can see we have created an opening on this surface all right so you now finish mass and then you select the wall and then update face now, as you can see 
we have an opening here so what are we going to do with this opening that we have here all right let's go to the ground floor the natural ground level sorry now we're going to create i'm going to create you know a new mass here so we can fill it up fill up this gap with a with a cutting wall all right so first of all let's go over to the architecture tab and then just like we do before we did before hit m then we are mass okay we're going to call this fill up mass all right and then we hit okay so now i'm going to just draw a line just like we did before okay so you select it you copy it you go over to the top floor you paste it okay the current view all right now you select this one and then with the move to you move it by 9900 let's go over to the 3d view and see you select this one you hold control you holding holding down your control key you select the other one and then okay you select this this is the one we want yeah. now let's select the first mass and delete it we should have done that earlier but we can always do it at any time we want so you hit the delete button on your on your keyboard now we still have the mass we just created which is this one so we want to put a cutting wall there so on the architecture tab on the build panel you select the cutting system and then you select the face you want making sure that you are on the cutting wall type that you want to use and then you hit create panel now you have you know a cutting wall and then on, uh, and then a wall also a basic generic wall on the same inclined surface all right, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. If you did, please give us a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Not only that, ring that bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.